Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing very well. This is a video that is part of my tattoo healing series that I'm now doing. I've never really dedicated a lot of videos to tattoo healing and in my opinion tattoo healing is so so important it's really really important it can pretty much make or break your tattoo if you don't look after your tattoo while it's healing very well it can be pretty detrimental to your tattoo and if you spend a lot of money on your tattoos you just want to look after them <laughs> and it's also you know it's a good thing for the tattoo artist as well because if you destroy their work you know they put so much hard work into your tattoos and their design and their technique and the color palette if you have color that is now i've been getting tattooed for 12 12 years 13 years i don't know a long time <laughs> so i've definitely had my fair share of tattoo healing i've played around with a lot of products i use different techniques the only technique i haven't used is dry healing and the reason being for that is because i naturally do have dry skin but in the dry itchy phase of tattoo healing oh my god i couldn't imagine not using some kind of moisturizing product i just could not i just couldn't do it <laughs> I, I want to try it at least once with a tattoo but for now i i'm gonna stick with moisturizing products because all my days so for many years many many years i want to say hang on seven, i want to say seven eight years of me being tattooed i used the panthem and cling film to heal now there was a lot of rumors here and there about the panthem and the formula and whether they've changed it or not i don't know according to the panthem themselves they haven't changed the ingredients but it's up to you whether you want to believe that or not i don't know yeah for the first sort of seven eight years of me being tattooed i would use the panthem and cling film i'd obviously you know get tattooed wear the cling film that was given to me um after being tattooed and then i'd leave it on for like three four hours wash it with some antibacterial soap i'm not fussy when it comes to soap personally anything that's like antibacterial or whatever i'll i'll use it i'm not fussy when it comes to soap as long as it cleans the tattoo i just don't care <laughs> <laughs> and yeah i'd clean it and then i would use my pants them again and then for the first sort of three days i'd use my pants them wrap it in clean film take it off clean it use my pants them wrap it <laughs> and stuff like that and that's quite a good technique for some people but that for me just looking back it just wasn't a good technique for me and i personally find um the panthem quite thick and heavy for me i'll talk about the panthem more in a dedicated video i will definitely be doing that soon and then i got recommended dream cream from lush i wanted to try something different something that wasn't as thick as um the panthem and something a bit more natural and you know with lush products that as natural as they you can get <laughs> for the most part anyway yeah i just wanted to try something like that i love the smell of it. it the consistency of it is thin it's on like the other side of the panthem so you have like the panthem and then i'd say like hustle butter would be in the middle when it comes to consistency and thickness and then i would say like dream cream and other moisturizers like that is you know is on that side yeah i love love dream cream it's really it's just a nice moisturizer all around i believe it also helps with eczema and i also use it on my legs after i've shaved or when the hair is growing back on my legs i have the worst itchy legs after shaving so i shaved my legs like yesterday and in about two or three days my legs are gonna get so itchy and it's mainly because i have dry skin and no matter how i shave my legs it just gets itchy whether i use shaving foam conditioner body lotion or whatever shampoo you name it i've tried it all my legs get itchy right so dream cream really soothes that it's amazing so with dream cream again i sort of just got tattooed left the wrapping on the tattoo cleaned the tattoo and then i would just use um dream cream i then tried tattoo goo which is another one that you guys recommended to me and it's another one that has been around for a while that i've always seen and i just wanted to try it i've done a few videos on it i believe but i use that for a little bit i love the consistency of it it's very smooth it's a little bit sticky like the when you peel it out of the pot <laughs> not peel it but when you like take it out it's got like a like a sticky like honey kind of consistency i don't know but yeah i don't mind it the smell was nice it smelled kind of medical which you know isn't a bad thing in my opinion but it didn't have like a, a funky scent to it or anything like that i don't think i used it for that long though because then i moved on to saniderm and if you've been around for a while you know that i love saniderm dermalize all of that fun stuff oh my day because i am getting lazy when it comes to healing tattoos i've been doing it for too long <laughs> 
and I just want an easy healing experience. So for those that don't know, Saladerm or Dermalize, it's basically a mixture of cling film and a plaster. It's a sticky cling film. It's waterproof. It keeps your tattoo protected for up to, I think you can leave it for up to seven days. So you pretty much just get tattooed and then you put the first sheet, well the tattoo artist puts the first sheet on and you can leave it on for like five days if you want or you can leave it on for a day, take it off, clean the tattoo, then put on another sheet. It's up to you, I've done both and I personally prefer leaving the Saniderm or Dermalize on for like five days and taking it off. It's up to you, some people find that kind of unhygienic but it's worked for me, I've done that technique on my um, blast over sleeve and it's it's healed beautifully so nicely also after using saniderm or dermalize they're both the same thing saniderm and dermalize are pretty much the same thing i've used both i cannot tell a difference <laughs> just the name pretty much but yeah after i use them i started using hustle butter hustle butter is it's great it smells great it's moisturizing some people like how moisturizing it is some people don't some people find the consistency can be quite sticky, greasy, it just depends on who you are as a person, but I like it. The only thing is I'm getting sick of the smell <laughs> because I use it on my neck and on my upper arm and that's all I could smell and then on my hands and I'm waving my hands about and that's all I could smell and I was just like, oh my God, and then Tom uses it. So when he got tattooed, <laughs> I could smell it. I'm like, oh god, you stink of hustle bar. Like, it gets quite sickening if it's like a continuous smell. And I get sick of smells pretty quickly. Like, I like to rotate smells, like rotate candles, perfumes, all of that jazz. Okay, and the newest healing technique that I used was when I got tattooed by Paula Castle in Bristol. She has her own studio in Bristol. I got my Patsy Stone portrait tattoo. I got a whole video dedicated to that. Um, but she used something called a dry lock pad or a surgery pad. I had never used one before, but I swear <laughs> I am like converted. If there's a way I can get a hold of these pads, I will try, but they are pretty expensive. I tried looking for some and the ones that I did come across, oh my God, it's like 50 pound for like five or something like that, which I guess is kind of worth it because the healing experience I had was amazing so this dry lock pad is pretty much like a saniderm or a dermalize but it's got like this gauze in it like this fabricy cotton wool in it and it sucks up all of that tattoo plasma you leave it on for like five days and then you peel it off and it leaves <laughs> like a print <laughs> of your tattoo i'll flag it up here if you're a little bit squeamish it's probably best you don't look i don't know um but it was amazing and when i peeled it off the tattoo wasn't irritated it wasn't dry it wasn't scabby it was just it looked like it had healed it was amazing honestly best healing experience i've ever had in my whole 12, 13 years of getting tattooed. It was amazing. And then she gave me and Tom, because me and Tom got tattooed on the same day by Paula. She gave us these little pots. Oh God, I've got it with me. Two seconds. Let me go grab that. Let me, oh, oh God. Okay, hello. <laughs> okay, so yeah, she gave us these. Tom got a vanilla one. I got a strawberries and cream one. But it's these little pots of Butterlux, which is made in the UK. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and all of that fun stuff. It smells delicious. It smells like a strawberry ice cream or a strawberry daiquiri or like some kind of strawberry sweetie. I don't know. But this is the smoothest, smoothest tattoo aftercare balm that i have ever used in my life there was just something going on with healing my thigh tattoo it was so pleasant so yeah that was my latest healing experience and it's been my favorite so far so it does take a lot of trial and error because i've been using different things here and there and i would definitely love to try the dry lock pads or the surgery pads again so yeah that's pretty much like the history of my tattoo healing i'd love to know the history of your tattoo healing how do you prefer to heal your tattoos personally have you done trial and error or have you kind of nailed it the first time i would oh amazing that's amazing if you had but yeah i hope you're all doing very well and you're all safe and until my next video bye <laughs>